Hello Virgo and welcome to Lotus Spirit Tarot. My name is Shannon Colleen. We're going to do a timeless reading for you, Virgo. However, before we get started, I do want to mention that yes, I am available for personal readings or Reiki energy healing sessions. So if you are interested in that, there's a link in the description box below that will take you to my booking site. And I did want to let you know also, um, I've introduced a fairly new um, Reiki session, healing session. It is called the Unlock Your Wealth Reiki, and it's been very popular. People are loving it and using that energy to unlock their wealth. And I do want to let you know, you do not have to be next to me. This is energy healing. There is no such thing as time and space during these as far as you having to be near me your angels guides and ancestors my angels guides and ancestors the divine mother earth gaia we go in and uh clear those blocks so i have clients all the way i'm in louisiana and they're in australia so love it just saw one 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 on the timer all right virgo let's get into it here divine source creator what Ooh, i got the chills what is going on for virgo please show us clearly what is going on for virgo please show us clearly what is going on for virgo whoa too many divine source creator can i just have one or two for virgo please show me clearly for virgo what is the message what is the overall energy for virgo there we go all right let's see what we got going on here you have the porcupine spirit, time for a beginner mind. One of my favorite, favorite cards uh, in all the decks that I have is this one. First of all, it's 48. That would be a 12 in numerology. That reduces to a three. I'm getting a lot of three energy. Uh, you may want to check out your other placements, your rising sign, moon, Venus. Threes are about expansion. They're about growth. They're about opening up to new things, right? And you have this time for a beginner mind here which talks about looking through the eyes of, uh, of a child, okay? If you talk to a child and they say they are, you know, a superhero, they are. They aren't pretending. They are. And so I feel like for you, Virgo, you need to have this new mindset here, this beginner mind. Anything and everything is possible for me. Um, you don't see the barriers anymore. Okay, they're showing me like, um, how, how can I express this? They're showing me like a dam almost, right? And it's holding the water back, right? And then that dam lifts and this water flows through. And that water is you understanding it's you, Virgo, understanding that there is no blockage, okay? There's no blockage there. Um, it's very freeing energy that I'm feeling, and it is also, um, it's almost like any kind of thing that would stop you from, from starting this new life, right? you don't let it anymore you don't see it as an obstacle for example this is just an example um let's say you wanted to open a business and there are certain things you have to do i get that there would be certain things that you would have to do but a lot of people will continue and i gotta have this and i gotta have that and i gotta have this in order and this and this and this and this and this and this and oh my gosh i can't do that because i gotta do this and da 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 and instead of doing that and looking at it that way, you just start with what you have. Okay, you're just starting with what you have, knowing that you don't have to have all the resources at this moment, but rather knowing that what you have is enough to start and that the resources that you will need will show up. And that's very beautiful energy. It's, a, it's the right way to look at things, okay? So whatever this is for you, Virgo, whatever this is, whatever you want to manifest, whatever on your vision board, whatever you're doing, go just start. I just feel like go start. This is the time to start. Don't hold back. Don't wait. Don't make excuses, Virgo. Just go start. Okay. Whew. 
All right, what else do we have here? Show me clearly. Yeah, I just saw the Ace of Wands. I just saw the Magician. Like, no time like the present, right? Do not delay. Show me clearly. What is the message for Virgo, please? Thank you. Yeah, I love it. The Queen of Swords. She's my no bullshit card. And this is you, first of all, I'm not going to bullshit myself out of this, okay? Because we can bullshit ourselves out of things, uh, you know, excuses, procrastination, all that. But this is also you not letting anybody else stand in your way either, right? If you're surrounding yourself with people who are like, oh my gosh, that's going to be so hard for you to do. And oof, boy, you know, it's pretty impossible, blah, blah, blah. Mm -mm. That's not who you want in your circle. Okay, that's not who you want in your circle. And I love this because I didn't even see it. I didn't even realize two cards fell out. And the second card that came out was the Ace of Cups. So here it is. Here's the creativity. Here's the love. Here's whatever you're trying to manifest. It's going to be presented to you because you change your mindset. Because you change your mindset to the eyes of a child, right? Time for a beginner mind. And because you do that, all of a sudden resources start flowing in. Okay, the right resources for you start flowing in. Because, listen, I'm not calling you out, Virgo, but we all can bullshit ourselves out of doing things, right? We make excuses every day, all day, not to do the dishes, not to do this, not to do that, not to start that business, not to go online to find love, like whatever, right? We all do it. But I think you're getting real clear with yourself. And I love my Virgos. I got a lot of Virgos in my life. And uh, <clears throat> boy, when they get down to business, you got you guys get down to business. When you finally turn the bullshit meter down and you're like, all right, let's go. All right? And there's nothing that can stop you. Show me clear. Thank There's a magician. I told you. I called it. I saw it. You have all the resources you need at this moment to start. And you have to trust in the universe will bring you the other resources that you will need. All right? So trust that you are the magic here that you are the magician, and that you have the ability to get things rolling, all right? Oh, I love that. Show me clearly for Virgo. Thank you. God damn. I'm telling you, my loves, check out your other placements, Rising Moon, uh, Venus, because Temperance is coming out all over the place, and it has been. It's, a, it's another card of alchemy. Okay, it is your ability to turn water into wine, all right? You're very balanced now. You know how much effort you need to put in to take these actions to change your life, right? You know you're capable. You're being protected by the universe here, and they're saying it's time to get, to, get busy. Time to get busy. Let's go. We're on your side, right? Just show me clearly. Thank you. Wow, look at all those major arcanas coming out. Be fearless, right? Be fearless. Um, it reminds me of a quick story of my own life to help it resonate with you. Years and years ago, I was approached at my job by a woman who was offering me another job. Um, I was an optician, and she approached me. I, I sold her a pair of eyeglasses, right? And she approached me. A day later, I think it was, and a uh, day or two. It's been so long, I can't remember. And she offered me a job in finance. I did not go to school for finance. I knew nothing about finance. I couldn't. I was like, what in the world? Why would this woman offer me a job? And I remember talking to my father, because he always gave me the best advice, and he said, what's the worst thing that can happen? You're going to learn about money? And he was right. And I took it, and I, although I'm not in the financial world anymore, I cannot be more grateful for the knowledge that I have received, right? So was I scared to death? Yes. I didn't want to look like a fool, right? But I did it anyway. So it's like, you know, don't worry about what people are going to say or how they're going to judge you. Go tame the wild beast within and go for this. Love it. Love it. Show me clearly, please. And some of you might have something like that happen because of this Ace of Cups that I'm looking at now, right? Where this opportunity of a lifetime comes through very unexpectedly. But anyway, you look at it, it's just about getting clear. Getting clear, okay? 
show me clearly, please, what is the message. Yeah, boy, I'm telling you, things are changing for the better. Tower keeps coming out, too. I love it, right? And this is just saying this could be a shocking moment, an epiphany. Um, I know a lot of people don't agree with me on this, but there is such thing as a fear of success, um, whether that be business, money, um, love even, right? And I just feel like if you don't take these steps, if you don't take these epiphanies, these moments of clarity, this reading might be an epiphany for you. If you don't do it, the universe is going to come in and shake things up for you. And that's okay, too, because the universe has our best interest, right? But it's a lot easier when we take the step rather than having the universe force it upon us. And look at all this major arcana. That is life-changing, okay? That is life-changing, and bottom of the deck, we've got the two wands, which I love. The twos are about making the decision, though. So you literally have to make the decision to mold your own world. He's holding the world in his hand. The world does not control him. He controls his reality. And that feels very, very much like Virgo energy to me that is saying, I'm going to make the decision. I'm not going to procrastinate. I'm not going to let myself bullshit myself out of this. This is my goal. This is my desire. I'm going to start taking action because I do have the resources that I need at the moment and trusting that the universe will bring the rest in. And I love it too because uh, they did have me look underneath this Queen of Wands. My loves, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but this Queen of Wands is the most confident queen. Okay, so get into your confidence, tame the beast within, face the fear, go make the decision to go for what you desire. I love it. Show me clearly. Woo, all right. Virgo, we've got egg here. Success assured with good plans and hard work. You can't make that up. It's like everything we just talked about, right? Having a plan, going forward with it, putting the work into it, and getting the success, getting the golden egg. Who doesn't want the golden egg, right? We all want the golden egg. <laughs> we do. And look at this. You cannot make it up. Bottom of the deck, victory right victory in some end i just couldn't read it for a second sorry victory in some endeavor whatever you put this time and effort into there will be success for you there will be victory all right virgo don't forget to book your reading or reiki session hit that like button share comment i read each and every one and all of my love light and blessings to you virgo until next time